do you want to know what it is? More than 150 researchers from around the world said yes. And thanks in part to mice watching clips from movies, including The Matrix, they went down the rabbit hole. This project was trying to uh, map out a millimeter cube of a mouse brain, which is about the size of a speck of sand. A grain of sand might not, be, might not look too big, but there's almost 100,000 neurons and about uh, uh, half a billion connections between, between the neurons. There were two primary parts to this research. One team at Baylor College of Medicine measured brain cell activity while the mouse watched different videos. Scientists at the Allen Institute then took the same brain tissue and used a special tool to shave it into more than 25,000 layers to understand how neurons were speaking to each other. To understand the significance of the work, scientists used the analogy of a crowded stadium. Imagine you could hear every conversation of 100,000 people, in this case, the brain activity, but you had no idea who was speaking to whom. Now imagine you could see who people were talking to, but could not hear what was being said. In this example, those are the connections between neurons the team mapped through the reconstruction process. By combining both sets of data, a detailed picture of what was going on in the mouse brain emerged. It's an astonishing amount of complexity that is packed into this uh, little little fragment uh, of, of mouse brain. And it represents a huge scale up in what was done before. We're just kind of overwhelmed by the beauty and the size of it. The work gives new insight into how brains work. And scientists say it is a foundational step that could eventually help humans and perhaps in the future help treat disease. The next goal is to map the entire mouse brain makes you feel good about humanity, about what we can do to come together as a team and, and, and accomplish really hard things. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.